Miss Connie. Miss Connie is the mother of rap artist Little Bootsy, who is now incarcerated. Let's dial her up. A lot of things have been on the internet. Hello. Hello, may I please speak with Miss Connie? Yes, it's she. Hey, Miss Connie, it's TT Torres. It's nice to have you on the show. Oh, nice to be on the show. All right, so we have a lot to talk about today. Um, first of all, let me just ask you, how is Little Boosie doing? Uh, I'm going to say Torrance, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. So let, uh, let me just tell everybody, let me just tell everybody um, who you are. Everybody, if you are just tuning into the show, this is Miss Connie. Miss Connie is the a rapper Lil Bootsy. But she, of course, calls him by his government name because this is Mama Connie. Uh, <laughs> with all due respect, go ahead and let's talk about Torrance. Um, how's he doing? Okay, Torrance is doing fine. Uh, he's at Angola here in Louisiana. And uh, right now he's in CCR. Uh, he is locked down 24 hours. He comes out at least an hour a day. Uh, he's doing fine. He has gained weight. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I wanted to say is, it's so much incorrect information that has been placed on the Internet. Yes, yes. For example, I talked with, I went to Atlanta and I talked with DJ Drama. Okay. And we have different individuals reading in, in the Internet, but it's not the right information. They don't have a fact. Okay. It was stated in one article that Torrance was charged with nine murders. That's not true. And what it is, what he's been charged for is one murder. And they call it conspiracy. Whereas a 16-year-old is charged for six murders, okay? And he's saying that he lied on Torrance and stated that Torrance given him $1,200. And so it's not nine murders. Okay. It's only one. Now, um, the district attorney stated... And, and I have his um, statement that um, Little Bootsy Torrance has been linked to different murders. They Not directly involved, as in the shooter, but has mm -hmm. been linked to different murders. Is there any truth to that? That's no truth to that. And in reference to the DA, mm -hmm. let me tell you something. Okay. We are here, we're living in Louisiana. Louisiana is far south, as you know. Exactly. Okay. And what it is with the DA, he has a personal conflict with Torrance Hatch. Okay, and what happened is it only had to do with lyrics. Wow, okay? so they're bringing his lyrics into play. Right. So what Torrance did, he made a song. He made it about the city police, and he made it uh, in reference to the DA, okay? And in the lyrics, he stated that our DA is a racist. So now you're saying the DA is out to get him because of his rap lyrics. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a personal vendetta. vendetta. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. But here in Louisiana, if you are a rapper, they're the type that they don't even understand lyrics and things like that because they're so racist here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if you can go back, and I don't know whether you can recall this, we had a rapper here by the name of Master P. Yes. He lived here in Louisiana. He lived in, he lived in a secluded environment, community, okay? And what happened was they got they really railroaded him out of Louisiana. He had no other choice but to get out here because he was harassed so much, just like with Torrance. Torrance lived in a secluded neighborhood. You wouldn't believe Torrance could not go two blocks before he stopped by the police. So basically he had a target on his back since he entered into the hip-hop game. Since he entered into the hip-hop game. And he would leave the house and he would call Mama. I said, what, they don't stop me again. I said, what do they want? Boots' parents would say, Mom, I don't know. They say they're looking for drugs. I don't have no drugs in the car. I got my kids in the car. So it just was harassment. One day I was driving this yellow charger, and the police pulled me over with the light on. And he came on beside me, and I said, yes, sir, may I help you? He said, oh, you look Boots' mom, huh? I said, yes, I am. Oh, we just wanted to find out. Look, I need to get in one of those, those videos. Wow. So I've been harassed a lot, too, by the city police. So I'm telling you, it's the lyrics that Torrance was singing about the DA. One, in one of the songs, he said something about the DA by the time he comes home. But they took it the negative way. They took Little Boosie's rap lyrics as literally... He, as a threat. He, yeah, as a threat. Like he was literally coming out to get them. Right. 
Mm-hmm. And the reason why he was saying that is because it was rumors going around the little small city that our DA was sick. So that's how, that's what it is, just a personal thing that he has against Dante. So, and, and Boosie was actually referring to his sickness, not literally right. coming to kill him. No, that's what he was talking about. Yeah. Okay, Miss Connie, I have to put you on hold really quickly because I got to go into commercial break. Everybody, if you are just tuning in and we're talking to Miss Connie, she is the mother of Little Bootsy. It's Titi Torres. If you are just tuning in, we are talking to Miss Connie. Miss Connie is the mother of rap artist Little Bootsy. So how does it make you feel as a mother? Okay. You have this man, Bill Moore, who's a district coming out saying that they are going to seek the death penalty um, in this particular case. As a mom, you know, hearing these things, how does that make you feel? I mean, it must be devastating for you. I'm a mother of a one-year-old son. Quite sure it breaks your heart to have to visit him behind bars, but to hear someone say that they they want to put your son to death. It is devastating. But you know what, too? I, I'm a praying mom, and I'm mm. from a large family of Christian people. Mm. Now, it hurts. It hurts because I know Torrance is not the person that will hurt nobody. This is what I know. And and then what gets me is he has done so much for the community, especially our at-risk kids. See, that never has been displayed nowhere in the media, whereas every Easter, he will sponsor an Easter bash, whereas he will give away 3,500 bicycles, electronic games, to students that has maintained at least a 3.0 in school. He has done this for four to five years. He has also helped a cancer victim, a little boy. He was 12 years old. His last wish before he had gone to St. Jude High School was to spend a day with Torrance. Torrance received this child. He wanted to go to the studio. He went to the studio. When it was time for treatment at St. Jude High School, it wasn't a day that Torrance did not talk to him. One day, Torrance was late going on stage. Because the little boy had called and he was crying and he wanted to talk to Torrance. Today, this child is 16 years. He has survived. Wow. So what I'm saying is things like that never been displayed. Also, um, here in Louisiana, we have several at-risk students in predominantly black schools. And we have a problem with attendance. So what he did for at least seven or eight years to boost up the attendance for the school system, he would purchase bicycles for schools to encourage the kids to bring up the attendance, and it worked. So they look at things as Torrance has just been a negative target, but it's not true. Every, everybody, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Miss Connie. She is the mother of Lil Bootsy, but his real name is Torrance, so we are referring to him as Torrance today on the show. Uh, Miss Connie, obviously Bootsy has been doing his thing in the South. They love him. What was his main reason for staying in Louisiana? You know what I think, because I tried to get him out of here. Mm -hmm. What I think was, as you know and you may not know, Torrance has seven kids. And I think he didn't want to leave them at that time because he's very close to them. I think that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And I think it was not leaving me because... I work here, too. I think that's what it was. And I think that, you know, that was the main reason. How were you taking care of all of his kids, plus his legal bills? Um, did he leave money for you? Have you had to sell no, cars? what happened, no. What happened was when he first went in mm -hmm. for those two years, uh -huh. we had enough money. But what happened, they came back to IRS and taken everything, everything that he had. So what I'm doing now is uh, with the children, I try my best to take care of them. I work two jobs and try to do the best I could do. And then with the defense fund, we have a defense fund. Now we have had some individuals to come in and help us, help us with our defense fund, such as uh, is it Young Jeezy? Yeah, I was going to ask you, did other rappers like Trill Entertainment... Like who? Trill Entertainment, the, the record label that he was signed to, has any of those guys stepped up to the plate and helped out financially? Now, um, with uh, Trill Entertainment, they did help. Okay. Uh, young Jesus helped a great deal. And Young Guy, what is his name? Yo Gotti. Mm -hmm. I can't pronounce all those rappers. I understand, Miss Connie. And that's it. There were several people doing um, little free boosted concerts wow. across the country. 
you probably have heard about it, but we didn't reap any of the money. So like you were saying, in reference to the kids, I try to do the best I can to make sure that they have things because they know now they can't have what they used to have. Well, we so need to call out to these rap artists who have worked very closely with Bootsy to help with this. At least make sure his kids is taken care of. I know. And then again, too, that if you want the correct information that's going on with Torrance, you can visit www.boosiejustice.com. All right, let's take another quick break. Everybody, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Miss Connie. Miss Connie is the mother of Little Bootsy. Keep it down locked in. It's at Pop 91. It's girl talk. Why do you have to lie about that? Is this true? With uh, you and my sister, none other than T.T. Torres, right here. On I-92. Watch. Watch. Everybody, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Miss Connie. Miss Connie is the mother of rap artist Little Bootsy, and she is giving us the 411 on what's really going on with Little Bootsy. So what about his album, Super Bad: The Return of Bootsy Badass? Did his album ever come out? And, and if so, did you receive any royalties or any you know, type of money from I it? I don't even know which one you're talking about. You're referring to. Wow. So, Miss Con- And you know what, too, what gets me is so many fake people out there. You know, they'll say, oh, you know what, Miss Connie? Look, I'm going to help you, and this is my number, such and such a number. I called and never answered. What about his record label? Have you been in talks to the record label? Has an attorney or a manager? Where's Bootsy's manager? Has anybody been in talks with That's what I'm telling you now. Everybody wow. just has turned their back. They, they don't want to help because they feel that Torrance is not going to get out. But he, he is going to get out. Now, when, I don't know, but eventually... It's gonna get. He's gonna get out because this boy knew he lied, and he's willing to tell now that he know he was lying from the first beginning. Um, everybody, but we're it, talking. It's hard. I'm not lying. It's hard. No, and so I we think... do have a defense fund. We do have a defense fund. And I want to call out to his fans because I know here in this city alone, there are some extreme Little Bootsy fans. So I want to call out to his fans, even if you can donate a dollar. So, Miss Connie, um, let's go back to some of the the rumors that have been on the Internet. Um, When Bootsy first got arrested, they say that he got arrested because of violation of probation. Um, He had drugs and he had guns on him. Was there any truth to that? That's, that's not even true. Let me tell you what it was. When they stopped Torrance, Torrance was in his other car, his other charger. Mm-hmm. A guy was in the car before Torrance was. Torrance was coming from a funeral. Torrance did have marijuana in there. He had it the size of a paper clip. Mm. The gun that was in there was for another young guy. The young guy went down there to tell them that it was not Torrance's gun. But because we're in Louisiana, they refuse to believe it. All right, let's talk about some other reports that came out um, saying that Little Bootsy got caught smuggling contraband into the prison, including codeine, ecstasy, and some other stuff. He has been charged with some friends of his trying to bring contraband. But what happened in that case, let me tell you what happened. Uh, The city of Baton Rouge dressed one of the uh, state troopers to go in and set Torrance up. So basically what Louisiana is doing is trying to set him up the best way they can. Right, but it's the DA. The DA will run anybody. If you're black here in Louisiana, you live in a secluded neighborhood, you're not going to live there alone. And I know Torrance is coming out. He may not come out Tuesday, but he, eventually he's coming out. But all I want him to do is get out and, get, and just get out of Louisiana. But girl, I mean, they have done all kinds of things. You wouldn't even sit there. They will do to us. A human being. And I can't I can't imagine what you're going through right now as a mom. Yeah, baby, if you all did you. Yeah, as a mom. I can't even imagine. Oh, I pray for you. How many times a week do you go and visit Bootsy Torrance? Um, I go on weekends. I go at least twice a month. Um, I went Sunday. I called back up there today, and I'm going to see him in the morning. But every visit I go to, and I have all the kids, all seven, the youngest is is only one and a half. But you know what hurts when it's time to leave and he's just a waving? Ooh, my heart goes out. But it's just the idea, you know, like you say, Mom, I have helped everybody. Now, everybody don't know me anymore. And you know what I told you? I said, but you know what? Your family knows you and God knows you and your children. Mm, that's right. Okay, Miss Connie, look, I got to go and take another quick break. Everybody, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Miss Connie. Miss Connie is the mother of Little Bootsy, and she is setting the record straight.
right here exclusively on iPod 921. We'll be back with one more break with Miss Connie. It's girl talk. Why do you have to lie about that? Is this true? With uh, you and my sister, none other than T.T. Torres, right on here. I Power 92. Watch the launch. If you are just tuning in, Miss Connie, she's the mother of rapper Luda Booty. She is setting the record straight about Luda Booty today here on iPod 921. How was his defense team now? There were some rumors on the internet that he fired his lawyer, and then he got a new lawyer who basically sold him up the river. Um, any truth to that? Let's go back to the first lawyer when he was charged for the felony. Yeah, he got rid of him. But we could not find a lawyer. Listen to this. No lawyer in Baton Rouge would accept Torrance's case. Why? Because everybody is afraid of the DA. So what we did, we went to New Orleans to get his lawyer. So now he has two lawyers. But we still owe the last lawyer, and we owe him $35,000. And that's why I was telling you, young Jeezy did help with that lawyer, but we still owe a balance. But when it was time to find another lawyer in Baton Rouge, everybody's afraid. They're afraid to take the case. Uh, so what they did also, they came to my house about hmm, a year ago, and they kicked down my door. And since Torrance has been incarcerated, and he was in his home during this time where the kids was in the house during that time when he had the house, they kicked down his door and put the guns to his children's face. What were they looking for? They said they were looking for, they took his computer. They were looking for music and CDs and guns. How are you going to find guns in somebody's house when children are in there? Torrance will never do that. But Torrance had been incarcerated for about... A year, they have all kinds of things. What's up with um his cars and, and things that we, he ha- He doesn't have anything. All the cars are gone. We, when I say nothing, I mean he doesn't have anything. No home. The, the home that he had, the kids came and lived with me. So I have, what, one, two, three. I have four kids been living with, with me ever since he's been incarcerated. And I try to do the best I can for him. And have you been able to talk to any other hip-hop artists outside of Young Jeezy? No. No, no. I did talk with, um, this is what I'm telling you. I had a lot of the artist numbers. But what I'm telling you is when I call, they never return the call. If I call, they will say different things like, okay, Miss Hatch, I'm in a meeting, I'm going to call you back. And I feel like this, I kept on calling, kept on calling. Now, with common sense, you know, if they really want to help, don't you think they'll call? Mm-hmm. Who are some of the artists you reached out to? Plus, no phone call return. No phone call. I've spoken with uh, Hurricane Q, Chris. No phone call return. No phone call return. Uh, now, these are uh, people that have been around time. I don't know whether you know the guy that plays uh, for the Celtics. His name is uh, Big Bay. No telephone call. No return. Michael Clayton, one of Torrance's best friends. No return. You know Michael Clayton? Professional football player. No return. Telephone call. Okay, Marcus Spears, when he and Torrance would play AAU ball, he would stay at our house every day. Called him, he plays for the Dallas Cowboys. No return. Torrance, he, he written uh, Lil Wayne. No return. Yeah. So that's this is where we are. When you, when you're in this game, you know who your true friends are when you need yeah. them the most. When you need them the most. Yes, and then no, no, no. My son says all the time, he said, "Mom, when you're down and out." He said, "You used to tell me so much." He said, "When you're down and out." He said, that's who your friends are. You're going to know who your friends are. And you know what? It gets so stressful. And when I see the kids, when I see my, my grandkids asking for stuff, you know, I tell them, they always say, well, that's right, Grandma. We can't have what we used to have. I said, no. But you know what? They're grateful. It's not a visit they do not go to. Now, we're going tomorrow. I'm leaving my house at 5 o'clock. So guess what? They're going to get up and they're going to go. You don't have to tell me to get up. So, you know, all I want him to do is get out and get out of the weekend get out of here. And I'm so glad you did this interview today because maybe his fans did not know how hard he really does have it. You know, so this is an open... He's having it very, very hard. He's having it hard. This is an eye-opener for his fans. So, you know, his fans who truly love him and can appreciate his music can step up to the plate as well and help out. What, you know, does Bootsy talk about his fans? Does, you know, do you have something? Oh, honey, and you know what? They write them all the time. They write them all the time. Get, he was telling me that he was getting letters from Canada. But I think what it is, they have read all this mis, this incorrect information. So they have assumed 
that Torrance is not getting out. They assume that Torrance has nine murders on him. You know, sometimes you could just take information and read it and come up with our own ideals. It's just like a, a, a puppy or a dog that's carrying a bone, and he drops his bone and he picks up another bone. So it's just so much gossip on the Internet. But if you want to know anything that's the truth information, that's where you go, uh, BoosterJustice.com. Thank you, Ms. Connie. If you, go, if you would go to that website, any type of information that you need, my contact information, the defense fund, everything is on there. Is there anything else you want to leave with today, Ms. Connie? I'm going to let you take it from here. Okay. All I ask that, especially the ones in the music industry, we need your help. We need your prayers. We need your support. To all his fans, he still love you. You're welcome to write him. If you want to email him something, you can go to jpay.com, and you can email him. It takes about two days, but he cannot email you back. And I thank you all for all your love, your support, and I'm going to believe in God that somebody's heart will be reached today. And if you know of any person, music artist, you go to that person and ask them, please, to help us out. So, and I thank you so much for you welcome to call me anytime. You have a blessed day, and I love everybody in the radio audience, and we need your help. All right. Be blessed. Okay, uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, Miss Connie, thank you so much.